Hello everyone, so today I'm making a three-tiered cake. Uh, it'll be a four inch, six inch, and an eight inch round. Um, right now I'm just rolling up my fondant. Um, I covered the surface with cornstarch just so it doesn't stick to the surface. This will be going on a four inch cake. Uh, just keep watching and see what I do next. Pulling the fondant like if it's a skirt and softly it kind of looks rough but I'm just you know gently pushing down on the little ruffles I guess you can call them and trying to smooth out the fondant until I get to the bottom of the cake. to pull too much on the fondant because if you do sometimes it will rip and it is really hard to try to fix that and sometimes you might even have to pull the fondant off and start over. fondant smoothers to smooth out my edges. I love doing this on all of my fondant cakes. Um, I just keep smoothing it out until you know I get my edges the way I like them. So right here I'm just using some sewing pins to pop some air bubbles from the fondant. Uh, you can get these on Amazon, they're pretty cheap and it's really helpful to, you know, remove all of the bubbles. pretty much the same thing as I did in the beginning of the video. Use cornstarch or if you like you can use uh, vegetable shortening. That's I use both of them but I prefer the cornstarch when I'm rolling out the fondant. cover this eight inch cake in fondant it's always better if you you know ice your cake and let it sit in the refrigerator for an hour or maybe overnight it's even better just so the cake is hardened and you know you can get the best result once again just make sure you don't pull too hard on the fondant you know just to avoid it from breaking making like the long strips of fondant that I'll be using to make the gold lines. I 
if I wasn't recording while I did all the other lines, but pretty much I just grabbed the strips of fondant and I just placed them horizontal and vertical. You know, I just did it the way I thought it would look cute the best. some edible gold luster does and I mix it with some lemon extract and I'll just paint that right onto the lines. to stack this tiered cake and all, all of my cakes have been chilled for a long time so they're all hardened and I'm using some bubble straws that I like to use for support and then I just add a little bit of buttercream you know to use it as kind of like a glue and I just stack the cake right on using a regular wall leveler and I just like using these you know when I'm stacking to your cakes and just to make sure that it's you know straight and level so this cake well this tier is going to be a watercolor effect so I'm just using some beauty blender sponges and just pretty much dipping them in my little mixture of water and food coloring and just dabbing them onto the cake and you know doing whatever I think looks the best. a little messy to do so next time I do this I'll make sure not to stack the cake onto the bottom tier but just a heads up for anyone who'd like to try this if you're doing a tiered cake whichever tier you decide to do this on make sure you do it before you stack it on
pretty much done with this middle tier now i didn't get to record me making the top tier i just totally forgot i kept making the cake and i just forgot to record but i am um, i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please like comment share and subscribe and see you next time